All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create a chain in Blender and do it with rigid bodies so that it can react dynamically to objects in the scene like this. And I'll go ahead and put this on rendered and then pause. Let me go into camera view show it, so it shows better. Turn my lamp on so we have light. And that's pretty much what the chain looks like. All right. Now let's go ahead and get started. I'll go to file and then reload startup file all right first thing we want to do go ahead and get rid of the cube if yours has the cube because we don't need it then i'm going to press one on the keyboard to go in the front side view then press five to go into orthographic view or two-dimensional view now if we think about it a link of a chain it's kind of oval shape like this so we want to start out with a torus like a mesh and a torus because if we look at that it's almost like a link of a chain but we need to elongate it so I'm gonna press 7 on the keyboard go on the top side view and if we zoom in it's made up of a whole bunch of individual rings going around the circle and then rings going this way well there's a whole lot of rings going around this way we don't need that many that much geometry would slow down the computer especially when it comes to physics simulations so we want to lessen that and if we go down here we'll see something called major segments now we need to turn this down but we can't just turn it down to any number we need to turn it down to an amount because see if we look at the geometry we need to stretch one of we need to stretch the center of this so we can make it elongated and to stretch it we need to stretch pieces that are straight so we need to adjust the number of major segments until the sides have flat sides which right there looks about right 14 major segments and 12 minor segments that looks about right so we'll go ahead and set that on 14 and 12. now what we want to do is press tab on the keyboard to go into edit mode and then choose line select and then press A once or twice until nothing is selected. And then press B on the keyboard to go into box select. And then left click and select half of the uh, link. Then drag it on the X axis. But if we look, see it's doing funny things. And the reason why is because if we look at it, we only selected one side of it so what we want to do press ctrl z to go back to where we was and then click this this will allow us to select through the mesh so if we do that again press b for box select and then select around it again and th now we can see we selected every bit of it so now let's drag it and it drags it like it's supposed to and we'll just drag it about to there and that looks about like the shape of a chain of a link of a chain all right now what we want to do is press tab to leave edit mode and then change this to uh, change the origin to origin uh, to geometry that way it puts the origin point right in the center that's important we for the physics to act properly all right now but if we look at this shape it's not very smooth so what we want to do at this point go ahead and press control and a to set the scale and then come over here to the modifiers tab add modifier and adds a subdivision surface 
and then just make sure both the view and the render is set to 2 and then click on optimize for display do not click apply that's important all right now we want to apply some physics to that link so with the link selected click on the physics tab and then choose rigid body leave it set to active but we got to change this from convex hull to mesh and the reason why we have to set that on mesh is because we want to be able to have a link going through this chain through the center or through have a link going through this link through the center without it causing a conflict and the only way we can, we can do that is if we treat the mesh as a rigid body instead of you know the basic oval shape as a rigid body I hope that makes sense I don't know how to explain it any different all right now let's uh, go ahead and press 7 on the keyboard zoom out just a little bit now we want to duplicate that so press shift D to duplicate and then press X so we can move it on the X axis and then just move it till you have just a little bit of a gap now you want to rotate that on the X axis rotate X 90 degrees enter so now it's two links of a chain essentially alrighty now the fun part with one of them selected shift right click on the other one so both of them are selected and then press shift D X and then just move that on the X axis until it's about right there and then just quickly tilt it down and make sure there's no intersecting vertices or it, any meshes you know inside of each other once you make sure that there's no intersecting meshes then you can press shift R to just duplicate the last uh, duplication process that you did and we can do that several times and in this case I've done it about yeah, 15 times now basically our chain is complete at this point now let's go ahead and add a mesh plane we'll use that as a floor I'm going to scale that up just no particular amount just kind of big enough so we can use it as a floor and just kind of center in the chain and I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard to go to front side view and then I'm going to lower the floor so it's down this way so the chain has somewhere to fall to now with the floor we need to give it rigid body also but we're going to change it from active to passive because we don't want gravity to pull the floor down we want the floor to just stay still to be passive alrighty now let's add an object for the chain to fall on in addition to the floor so let's go ahead and add a mesh and a cube now the cubes right here and let's go ahead and scale it on the Y axis by pressing S and then Y and then just scale it up to about that size and then I'm just gonna press scale to scale it but I'm gonna scale on every axis so just plain scale and then drag it to whatever size you want it to be now I'm going to lower it till it's right above the ground, but or right above the floor, but not not to actually touching the floor. Now I'm going to press Control A to apply the scale for that cube. That's important. And now I'm going to give that uh, cube or that rectangle some rigid body properties leave it on active and convex hull is fine we can leave the settings at the default setting now if we press play it should the cube should fall to the floor and then the chain should fall on top of the cube and the floor 
I'll go ahead and set the end point to 100 on the frames and then press play. Simple enough, right? Now let's go ahead and give this chain, you know, a material. Go over here to select one of the links, pr click on the materials tab, click new, change it from diffuse to principled, and then change the metallic to one, and then the roughness to somewhere between 0.05 and 0.1. I'm just going to put it 0.05. All right, now we need to apply that material to the rest of the links. So what we need to do, we need to box select all of them and then press Control L and then choose materials. Now all of the links have that same material. See there's 28 links now all with that same material. Now if we press play, let it go, and then if we go in the camera view, and then situ situate the camera, and then press rendered. There's our chain. Let's go ahead and give it a an HDRI background. Pretty much any HDR background will, will work to make it look better. And then that's pretty much it. That's pretty much your chain. If you have any questions about how to make a rigid body chain, let me know. Drop a comment below and I will try to help you. Thanks for watching. Later, people.